Welcome to Barcelona for MWC 2023, where we are discussing today the partnership between Red Hat and Ericsson as the two market leaders team up in order to offer communication service providers with new 5G cloud RAN architectures to enable new 5G use cases. And joining us today are Chris Wright, CTO and Senior Vice President of Global Engineering at Red Hat, as well as Anders uh, Rosengren, who's Head of Strategy and Portfolio Call Networks at Ericsson. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now, first of all, Chris, for CSPs and their customers to leverage the potential of Cloud RAN and 5G, an open ecosystem, of course, uh, is important. So tell us about Red Hat's uh, initiative in that sense and why you are partnering with Ericsson to deliver all those benefits. Well, it, needless to say, um, open is a, is a really key part of who we are at Red Hat. We, we often say it's in our DNA. And when you think about that cloud native journey that service providers are on, uh, you need an ecosystem in this context to provide the applications. We're, we're coming at it from more of an infrastructure and platform software point of view. So you need an ecosystem to provide the applications and the applications themselves need to adapt to cloud native principles. So what we're doing is building an open ecosystem to help the industry move forward to be more agile and efficient and building networks. And to do that, it's critical that we have key partners and leaders in the industry that are building the applications that the service providers are, are really actually looking for to build their 5G networks. Anders, what do you bring to the table? Yeah, I think, I mean, always great uh, words from you, Chris. Uh, I think Ericsson is also, I would also say that we have openness uh, at the core of our, our, our business. We started, I mean, the whole mobile network is a multi-vendor setup from, from get-go, and we always worked in there whether in standardization or with partners or, or other players in that ecosystem to really facilitate. And now with Cloud Native, we add also the cloud platform piece to that. So I think that's for us, is a great opportunity to partner with leaders in the industry. So tell us more about the uh, why and the how of this partnership. Well, the, the why is we're both really focused on building the right tools for service providers to modernize their infrastructure. So we're natural partners in that context. Um, the how is really interesting because first of all, it's a tremendous amount of engineering work. We spend a lot of time, sleeves rolled up, shoulder to shoulder, building things together. And if you think about the history of where we're coming from, a lot of effort goes into application validation to show service providers that an application will provide the service level availability that a service provider is expecting. As we move to a cloud native world, those expectations don't go away, but we disaggregate the software platform layer from the application layer. We have to do all that engineering work to ensure the resiliency, the observability, the availability of the network is still there and that means we're doing this, this tight engineering collaboration to build something that's giving the confidence to the service providers that it will actually do the job that, that they're looking to do. And does your take on this partnership? No, I, I think uh, what, the way you talk about the operators, if we start there, I think with 5G, they, they really need to step up on the agility, the speed of, or the time to market for new functionality. It's a great opportunity. So from the ecosystem and from us being partners to, our, to the operators, we really need to help them in that. And I think from Ericsson, you talk about the, the challenges with the, the separation of the cloud platform and the network functions. And from Ericsson perspective, we have our own cloud, pla cloud platform that we provide to operators. But of course, we also work with the leading partners. So, and we see different operators taking different choices here. And for the ones that are selecting Red Hat cloud platform, we will and need and want to work together with Red Hat to really close the gap on that SI cost, really reduce the total cost of ownership for our operators to enable them to work with the agility and the, with the 5G platform, the open ecosystem of innovation that that provides. Here in Barcelona this year, discussions are still very much centered around 5G. So where are we with the 5G rollout and what role will you be playing? Yeah, so, I mean, we see the 5G rollout starting with 5G Core, uh, as well as with 5G RAN. From a cloud native and cloud platform perspective, we were first out in the core and IT segment, and are now also seeing a cloud RAN 
piece coming into play. At the same time from Ericsson, we see both purpose-built RAN and cloud RAN evolving over time in parallel for quite some time. It's still early days in the cloud RAN space uh, and cloud RAN will address certain type of use cases and network cases, pain points. Purpose-built RAN will address others and uh, we will see this evolve. What is interesting to see now is that we take the learnings from, from our core network uh, partnership and bring that into the cloud RAM partnership because the SIPs, the TCO that we talked about, that is all the same also in a cloud RAM uh, perspective. Your thoughts, Chris, on this? Well, um, I really like the, the thought of lowering the TCO and looking at how we can help our customers be more efficient. You know, there's, there's no confusion today, the macroeconomic, macroeconomic climate is focused on reducing costs and then looking for business agility. How can you monetize the expensive investment of building a 5G network? So I think what we're seeing today is we're well past the early day proofs of concepts. Uh, we are establishing credibility for this cloud native concept in the core of the network. And I think uh, service providers are, are comfortable with that, even going back to 4G and VNFs. So we have some, some history there. Moving into the, the radio access network is, is where a lot of activity is. And it's not just proofs of concept, it's, it's real live production environments. So the next phase will be the enterprise monetization. And where do we see edge use cases or private 5G use cases springing to life? So, to me, we're core, we're there, ran, we're in the process, and then the, the edge computing infrastructure is sort of the next phase. Work in progress. Now, Anders, can you tell us more about this partnership, but in terms of your technical collaboration? Yeah, so I think the technical collaboration is really at the core. I think you, you talked about that a little bit earlier, Chris, where we see we're coming together we create the reference configuration together with the Ericsson Cloud uh, Core software and Red Hat Cloud Platform together. And then we uh, test that. So we run through a set of test cases validating different aspects of, of that joint functionality. We create a set of documentation and services assets that enable the operator to really build on our effort. And the purpose there is that with that reference configuration, with those services assets, the operator can spend less time on deploying, integrating that into the network, faster time to market, lower TCO. So that is the core of, of our collaboration, definitely. I think the, the engineering piece to me is, is really exciting because it's where we spend a lot of our time um, evolving our platform to suit the needs of the applications that Ericsson provide. So critical engineering endeavor. Um, together, what we're producing is the ability for our customers to focus on their differentiation in their markets and build their businesses. So we're kind of focusing on the, the infrastructure, the plumbing, the, the parts that are critical to the business, um, making it consistent and reproducible so that it's easier to roll out a 5G network and then allow the service providers to focus on their differentiation and their business so they can grow uh, across their market segments. And to wrap up this conversation, what can we expect from this partnership going forward? What would it evolve into in the future? Yeah, maybe I, I start. I think we have over 25 of these technical collaborations across the core, the ITPs, the RAN, and I think there are definitely new versions of the application coming out, new versions of the cloud software coming out. So working in continue to support our, our customers there. And, and you talk about the edge and, and those opportunities, also very interesting. So I think combining, maintaining and strengthening the partnership around the technical collaborations and then look at business development and opportunities beyond that in serving our, our joint customers together. I think that is where we're going. Chris, what's your vision from your perspective? Uh, I mean, we have a shared vision, so it is about a you know, first, sustaining the work that we've done, it's always evolving. Part of cloud native is change. So we're always evolving and there's interesting areas uh, like energy consumption and sustainability in the radio access network that might require modifications to the infrastructure stack as well as the application stack and even leveraging different types of hardware in new ways. So always work to do in areas where we've already started collaborating and then expanding that collaboration just 
to ensure that our customers are uh, you know, building the growth for their future business that, that's key to their success. Chris, Anders, thank you very much for your time and your insights today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.